Earlier on this year, when um, um, the Nigerian Union of Teachers in Edo State, NUT, Edo State chapter, uh, they've, been, um, in, uh, they've been in talks about a um, strike, giving ultimatum to the state government to meet their demands or else they will go on um, strike. We know the governor, Governor Gordon Obasek, his reaction to that, um, their, their threat was that um, all teachers should return back to class, that um, it's going to be a case of no work, no pay. We know um, the NUT Edo State chapter, they've been back and forth. It got to a point that um, they were even accused of being used by um, other polit politicians, by, by, by playing politics, using politics in all of this. That um, the, the big question that they were asked, that were they not the same set of people, that is the NUT, who gave an award to Governor Gordon Obaseki for being the best, all of a sudden, they started turning around, stating that um, he's not met their demand, he's not... Uh, done a lot of things so um they've been going back and forth the nut edo state and um, edo state gov um, government it looks like they've still not settled on a common ground right now it looks like another set of crises loom again as the primary teachers have, have just raised the alarm that the government has done this to them really really shocking we'll bring you all of the details shortly but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe also, click on that notification bell, guys. Press the bell until it turns gray. God bless you, my people. Now we'll get into the news and bring all the details. Another crisis of confidence between Edo State government and primary school teachers in the state who have participated in the last strike action declared by the Nigerian Union of Teachers, NUT, as the teachers accused the state government of deducting their February salary over the strike. The teachers, it could be recalled, had embarked on strike over non-implementation of series of their demands by the state government. The industrial action was, however, called off after five days. While the industrial action lasted, the government had threatened to apply the no work, no pay rule, and it followed up the threat with a directive to education secretaries of the 18 local government council in the state to process the deduction from the February salary of the primary school teachers one of the head teacher who was affected by the deduction told journalists in benin on tuesday that the sum of twenty-five thousand naira was deducted from her february salary the head teacher who pleaded her nominee disclosed that the state government had circulated a memo directing all head teachers to reapply and go through a test about twenty-five thousand was removed from my february salary and the same thing applied to other teachers but the deduction was not uniform. I was also reliably informed that all head teachers in the state have to reapply and sit for a test. I was told that they have planned to drop some head teachers, she said. Other teachers who also spoke admitted that different sums of money ranging from 6,000 to 23,000 naira were deducted from their February salaries. One of the school's teacher lamented that after the deduction, what was left of his salary would not be enough to feed his family for the month. It was learned that some categories of teachers from senior to junior cadres who were indebted to the government through servicing of loan facility went home without pay due to the deductions. Many of the teachers believe that the no work, no pay rule is a device to weaken the NUT and create friction between the union and the teachers. When contacted for comments, Edo State Secretary of NUT, Moni Modesty Itwa, promised to call back but failed to do that as at the time of filing this report. Also, when contacted, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Mrs. Stella Maris Imwasu, declined to comment, saying that primary school teacher salaries are paid by Sobeb State Universal Basic Education Board. This one uh, uh, is, is really, really interesting. So the teachers are lamenting right now that uh, their salaries have been cut. I don't know if this will lead to another sort of um, protest because um, they are not happy at all. You know, if teachers are not properly motivated, there is no way they will do their job properly. They won't do their job effectively. But we know, um, you know, like I stated, um, in the early um, days of the year, because it was um, in January, they rolled up and they gave a... Uh, um, the Edo State government, that ultimatum, first it was seven days, then they moved it again, that their demands should be met. Then at one time, 
um, Governor Gordon Obaseki gave the directive that all teachers should return to school and called that all children to return to class as well. But we know um, at that point it looked like um, the NUT was divided. Some teachers went to school and after that, NUT brought a, a, a notice out that teachers should not go to school, that parents should keep their children at home. So it felt like... Uh, different orders from different quarters contradicting and uh, countering orders here and there but finally we know that um, everything was laid to rest and they all started school but what Obaseki stated at that time it looks like um, he is following through to it you know at that point when he was making the call that all teachers should return back to school he noted that um, it's going to be a no work no pay policy that unfortunately anyone that does not turn up in class will not get paid most probably the teachers thought he was joking, but right now the reality has hit them as um, these deductions have been made. So I don't know who's to blame right now, if it's the NUT, the Nigerian Union of Teachers, because um, um, it looked, you know, they, they were divided at some point. Some teachers were going, some were not. And that was when uh, the the um, speculations started coming out. And even uh, um, PDP, they were accusing the NUT of being used by some politicians in the state of being used by those who um, are against governor Gordon Oba Seki. and the question that was put before this nut you know it was even um yes it was um, um chief charles idahosa who was speaking he was the one who was questioning them he was stating that um, these guys they are being used and uh, they don't realize that they are being used and he was the one that questioned them that i thought you people were the same set of people that gave the governor award an award for best, uh, um, the, for offering the best treatment to 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 teachers. Right now, you people have turned against him. That this is all politics. Don't avail yourself for all of that. But a reaction, NUT at that point in time, they reacted and stated that they were not being used by anyone. But um, what the case is right now is that um, Obaseki has actually done what he stated. So different amount of money have been deducted from their account. And then the, the sad part and those that it really affected are uh, the people who um, already have some sort of payment plan going on in their account. So as soon as their salary hits, most probably they took a loan or something. So some sort of deduction will be taken. Right now, after those deductions have been taken and these other deductions of the no work, no pay, some teachers were left with nothing. It's very sad. Anyway, I don't know if this will further cause the NUT to go on another set of strike if they will protest against the salary cut or if um, the governor will make a U-turn and um, reimburse them. I don't know how this will play out. But let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.